been a little hiccup in Happy's will, but it turns out you two are sisters. Sisters? Hey, we said that exactly alike. Well, we've been looking for something forever. Well, I, did, I decided I wanted to work together again the day after the first show was over. Mm -hmm. I decided that day I'd like to work together again, and we just had to wait how many years for that to Gosh, happen. How many, I, I, my math is horrible. I don't even know what year we're in. Yeah. Too um, many years. Too many years. To be going by. But we've been looking for something ever since Reba was canceled in 2006. So long, long time. Almost had something, didn't work out. And I've always been a firm believer that timing is everything and everything happens for a reason. And thank God, because this is such a good show. It's fun, it's got so much heart. And I'm so glad we're reunited. Uh, Rex Land, my boyfriend, is on the show. We're with Kevin Abbott, our showrunner, and then Mindy and Michael, our producers. And Belisa is here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, Happy's Place is set in Knoxville, Tennessee. Happy was my dad, and he had this tavern in Knoxville, and I have been helping him run it for the last 10 years since my husband passed away, and um, and then my dad passes, so now it's on my shoulders. I mean, but you have some help. Gabby, the bartender, helps oh, out I a little forgot. bit. Yeah, that's right. So I've got a great cast of characters there <laughs> at the tavern. Who help her run it. Yes. Who are doing Gab a lot of oh, the heavy lifting. Heavy lifting. <laughs> It's just like wanna, bringing the beer in. I don't even have a bar back. I didn't see a bar back. I'm doing it all. Oh, you so all, all I'm are. Doing it all. Anyway, continue. Great cast of characters who come into our lives, who are part of our lives, and our family now. Uh, with with Takala playing Dakota, that's funny. Uh, <laughs> with Pablo playing Steve, my OCD accountant. Oh, he's so funny. And then uh, Michael O'Neill is my lawyer, and then Belisa is my half sister. Bobby and Isabella both had no idea the other existed. You know, Isabella grew up with a single mom, not really knowing who her dad was, where that part of her came from. So she always had that piece missing. Um, and then, you know, circumstances happen and she's in Knoxville, Tennessee at this tavern. And uh, she finds out some really life-changing news. And uh, she's kind of given this opportunity to find a family for her own. So this is like randomly walk into a bar and girl walks into a bar and finds a family. Well, she comes, she's been notified that she needs to come to Knoxville, Tennessee it's when you're, it's for when something. It's when Happy dies and there's legal yeah. stuff. It's when legal stuff is, have, has to happen. But she doesn't know what but it she is. She doesn't know what it's about. So no. Happy dies and then she's contacted by there's some legal things and she's found out that she's got a family. A lot of legal jargon, but at the end <laughs> of the day I gain a sister. Aww. It's a little bit of a shock mm -hmm. for both of us. Um, happiness, shock. <laughs> um, um, a little bit of jealousy for just jealousy. a second, just because I thought we'd finally have, you know. A bond since dad's out of the way. Yeah, yeah, more time together. And so it's, it's the, the, the whole pilot is kind of um, absorbing, Big adjusting. Mm -hmm. It's huge news, it's life jarring. By the way, this is something that I know in my own like life. I don't know if anyone else, but I've heard of people since 23 and me, the birth, I mean, people were like, "Oh, I got you a fun DNA kit for Christmas for the whole family." And you see somebody sweating oh, in the Lord. back corner like, "Oh, that would be fun." <laughs> and for real, I know people that they have found out that they have relatives, a sister, a brother because wow. of this the now we can now test for DNA and we can decide if we want to be notified. So, I think it's like it's not that far-fetched anymore no. where there mm -hmm. is, we just can find out before we never would have known. Right. Have any of you done 23 and me? Mm -mm. No. Everyone no. in my family, I think, well, John has, Riley has, my mom and dad has. I oh, guess really? I haven't. I better do it. Because they could, I know. I know, I'm kind of nervous <laughs> too. <laughs> Especially now we see. <laughs> well, that's a good thing. So maybe we have more yeah. family out there. There we go. Do we need more family? <laughs> There's some I love y'all. Yes. I love y'all. <laughs>
take like meat, he can like barbecue, grill, like he's, Smoke. it's really, really, it's delicious. Karaoke uh, night. Karaoke night at Happy's Place. Okay. The, the bartender knows <laughs> and the people are asking for it. All of my customers, huh. they're waiting for karaoke night. I so, think deal. Um, I'm just saying, I think it should happen. I think it will. We'll have fun. And some days we're overlapping. But it's so much better than two years ago when I was doing Big Sky in Albuquerque for ABC and then flying to the East Coast for concerts on the weekend. This is a piece of cake. Yeah, you just have to walk across the alley. The alley. I yeah, think the two stages are next, are to, right each next other. to each other. It's so, so if you great. need anybody to come with you and sort of hang out with Snoop and Michael Buble totally. while you're working, I'm happy to do that. So it was me too. Yeah. Yeah. I am too. Yeah. You got and your Gwen's there. Oh, and Gwen. Oh, please. Their fingernails. Would they ever come to the tavern? Oh, in a skinny minute. Yes. <laughs> I yes, mean, please. Snoop already said, Snoop already said, he, said he's I, he wants to be on the show, Michael Buble wants to be on the show, Gwen will just come visit. She didn't say she wanted to be on the show. She didn't say that? No, she didn't She'll want that. to. I don't <laughs> think she will. Once, once she comes started. and hangs out, she'll want to. Because we're a team. We, we'll, yeah. We're a good team. Yeah.